Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel. And in today's video I'm going to be discussing namespaces within Maya, how to get rid of them and how to export your animations and put them into Unity. Now when doing game animation within Maya it's generally good practice to reference in your characters. The reason we do this is because sometimes the character will be updated, sometimes you'll add more joints in or need to change the skin weighting and stuff. And this way because you've got it referenced into the scene you're able to go ahead and make those changes within the rig file then open up all the rest of the animations and re-export without having to copy across the animation. Now the thing with Maya is it likes to create namespaces by default and what namespaces are, if you have a look at this character here, you see how in front of every single controller there is model, there's a prefix. Now the reason Maya does this is because it prefers to have this namespace on here if you've got multiple characters within the scene. Otherwise it will get confused and you'll reopen the file and all your information will be corrupted. So if you'd rather not deal with namespaces, there is actually a way to reference the files in without a namespace. Now if you'd rather not deal with namespaces at all and you know you're not going to have multiple characters in the scene, there is actually a way to reference into Maya without a namespace. So to do this, let's create reference and go to the options. And the thing we're looking for is this right here. So tick merge into selected objects and let's just bring the same character in and select it and you'll see here there is no longer a namespace associated with this character. If you prefer to keep the namespace or you've already done a whole bunch of animation with namespaces it's not a problem you're able to strip that off during the export process. So in order to strip a namespace all you need to do is go up to window general editors namespace editor. This little window here will come up if you then click on namespace itself go to delete and merge with parent and you can see now it's gone ahead and stripped out all of the namespace in front of everything and we're ready to export. Now depending on your model usually you have a joint chain like so sometimes you have to dig into the rig a little bit to find it so go ahead and select the top joint come all the way down to the bottom select the bottom one go to edit keys bake simulation options Make sure you're baking on one and bake. So what this does is it puts a key on every single frame on every single joint so it's no longer associated with the actual rig at all. So from here what you need to do is import this into the scene now to be able to edit it further. So right click on here, go to import objects from reference. This will bring it into the scene so it's no longer referenced into the scene. This will allow you to grab your very top joint middle mouse button, bring it out of the hierarchy and now it's still got the animation on it but it's all on the joints. Okay so now let's give this an export, we're going to be exporting with FBX, so go up to file, export selection options, make sure this is on FBX, go to export selection, it will bring up some more options here and generally just copy what I've got here, this is good, you want to make sure that animation is on bake animation is on and the rest of the options you don't really need to touch. So go ahead and put a name for your export in here. Select a folder to put it in and hit export. Now to get your animation working inside of Unity you also need to export the rig file. So if you're wondering about this character this is for a game I've been working on in my spare time, just a little personal project of mine uh, called Lipseed and I've got a preview video on my channel if you want to check it out. This is basically the character in the T pose and this will provide Unity the skinning and UV texture information as well as the joint structure. So again make sure that you don't have a namespace on for this. And generally what I do is just set the frame range to 1 and go through exactly the same process again. So just edit, keys, bake simulation, just get a key on the first frame, you can delete that one if you want. And then drag it out of the hierarchy as so. So now you've got joints and you also want to export the geometry as well. So for this we're also going to do an FBX export. It's going to be slightly different from before because we're going to switch animation off. So go to your export options, click animation off, make sure you've got smooth mesh on and everything else is good. So export this as the model. So we're going to get into Unity in just a second. When exporting you want to make sure that you put them into the Unity folder. So Unity usually stores all its project folders in documents and I've made an example project called Animation Demonstration 
and then it automatically creates these folders here. So within assets, I've created a folder called characters, and we've got animation and model. And this is where I've dropped the run here and the model here. And you'll see that inside Unity here. So the first thing you want to do is rename take01 to something that actually makes sense. So usually best just to copy what you've named the FBX for this. If you go over to rig and make sure this is on generic, and you want to select your root node as the top one, like so. Hit apply. Now at the moment we can't actually see the animation, so we actually need to drag the model into this window here. So simply lock this screen here, go over to your model, and drag it over here. And there you'll see your animation. You can hit play, like so, and see everything's working. And that is basically how you get animations inside of Unity. So I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.